Hi, my name is David. I work for South Central Ambulance Service. I'm visiting our Kidlington base in Oxford today because we're about to launch two fully electric response vehicles. And there they are. Today they've given me the keys, so let's go inside and have a look. So now I'm inside, I've got everything here in front of me that you'd expect to find in a normal emergency response vehicle. And of course, as it's electric, it's got a very funky screen. And of course, as it's an emergency response vehicle, it's got the blues and twos. So to get these vehicles roadworthy, it's taken a real team effort. Let's go and meet some of the guys who've made it happen. So I'm Nick Lambert, I'm Head of Education and I look after the driving education for the organisation. So David, we've been looking at electric vehicles for just over 18 months, uh, is when we first started looking at the concept of the project. Our market was very limited when we first started looking, there was a couple of electric players on the market, but the range offered wasn't quite what we were looking at for an A&E response vehicle. So now the market started to open up, we've explored other electric vehicles, we've tested quite a few, and the Kia e Nero came out on top every time for an all-round versatile vehicle for what we're looking for in, in our response vehicles. So we're going to perform some extra training with staff with around these vehicles because electric vehicles uh, perform slightly different to uh, combustion engine vehicles, uh, otherwise known as ICE vehicles. For example, they're all electric, so they're single geared, so uh, and the performance is always on demand. So there's some slight, it's very progressive in the pickup and we just need to, to work a little bit on that and how we can sort of fine tune that uh, use of the throttle and things like that. So for us, absolutely, David, we're looking to uh, move forward to uh, an all electric fleet eventually, you know, in line with the government's road to zero emissions, which they're aiming for by 2040. We're trying to lead the way here at SCAS with our electric RRVs, and we're then starting to look at developing our frontline uh, A&E vehicles to also be moving towards the electric fleet in line with part of the national group that are working on that. So absolutely, I think the future for us is definitely going to be electric vehicles. It's about making sure that the technology is there to support that, and that's part of our national project that we're working on. Hello, my name's Gregory Edwards. Uh, I'm a manager at South Central Fleet Services from the Vehicle Commissioning Unit based in Eastleigh. The main challenges were um, designing the vehicles from the ground up um, with the electronic systems on board, uh, incorporating the EV charging systems to charge the vehicles whilst at station and to make them as ergonomic as possible. And the limitation of space was also a, a bit of a hurdle to overcome. Being an electric vehicle, there will be no uh, engine oils to change. Um, most of it will be down to uh, tyres, uh, wipers, uh, and the maintenance on that really. So and brake pads as well. So it'll be a lot cheaper to maintain in that aspect. So my name is Ross Cornet. I'm head of operations for Oxfordshire for South Central Ambulance Service, and I've been leading up the zero emissions fleet project. Well, as, as an emergency service, we we put in an awful lot of miles um, day in, day out. So actually, as a plan to reduce our carbon footprint, we thought the first stage was to move towards electric vehicles, which is why we're trialling these two electric RRVs to run through Oxford. So on average, an, an ambulance running out of Kidlington Station will, will do about 170 miles a shift so obviously that's a big a, a big number to reduce from using just petrol and diesel vehicles to moving towards electric so yes these are a trial to, to make sure that we move towards a, a more sustainable future so yes we're hoping to get these two up and running and then expand it as, as more vehicles become available moving into our PTS fleet as well as our A&E fleet and then eventually moving on to, to full electric ambulances of which we're part of a national project to try and develop those moving forward so these vehicles will do 200 80 miles uh, approximately on their on their range and uh, as I said before our shifts uh, tend to do about 170 so there's plenty of miles excessive there and, and then we're able to also charge these vehicles um, during the shift so during a, a lunch break or, or if, they're, if they're at hospital or if they're able to come down for a bit of standby time they can charge the vehicle then to ensure the vehicles are always charged and there's no risk of running out of power. Great. So thanks very much to Ross, Greg and Nick for hosting us today at Kidlington. I've learned a lot and I hope you have too. The future really is electric.